friends, this video on motion in a plane part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos from part 1 to part 7 before going ahead with part 8. So the first problem says that a bicycle covered a distance of 12 kilometers in the southward direction and then 16 kilometers in the eastward direction. Find the magnitude of the displacement. Now let us try to understand what it says. Let us suppose this is the biker. He covered a distance of 12 kilometers in the southward direction. So this is the southward direction. So he covered a distance of 12 kilometers in this direction. Right? After that he traveled 16 kilometers in the eastward direction. So east direction is this direction. So he traveled 16 kilometers in the towards east direction. So we have to find the magnitude of displacement. Let us suppose that he started at point O, then he went to point A and then finally he reached point B. So we have to find out the displacement. So what would be displacement? Displacement is nothing but the straight line path or the shortest distance between the initial and final point. So what is the initial position? O is the initial position from where he started and B is the final position where he reached. So a line joining point O with point B is the displacement. So this OB represents OB represents displacement. So the direction of OB is this because O is the initial point. So from O we will be measuring the final destination. So OB is the displacement. So how do we find displacement? Here we see that angle OAB is equal to 90 degrees. And so we can apply Pythagoras theorem. So from Pythagoras theorem, we can say that the magnitude of OB will be equal to root over OA square plus AB square. Now we know the value of OA as 12. So 12 square plus 16 square. So this is equal to 144 plus 256. So this comes out to be root over 400 which is equal to 20. So this is 20 kilometers. So 20 kilometers would be the magnitude of the displacement because this question asks us to calculate only the magnitude. So the magnitude of displacement would be 20 kilometers. Now let us go ahead and look at some other problems which are a bit more difficult. The problem too states a ship in steel water sails 10 km east and then 7.5 km south. Find its displacement. So in this case we have to find out both the magnitude as well as the direction of displacement. So let us draw the figure here also. So let us suppose this is the ship which starts from point O. It sails 10 km towards east. That means this is towards east. It travels 10 km. After that it travels 7.5 kilometers towards south. So this distance it travels is 7.5 kilometers. Now we have to calculate the displacement. So again here let us suppose the initial position was O, then it went to A and then it went to B. So the displacement would be the, the path between the initial and the final position that means OB. So OB would be the displacement in this case. So here we have to find out both the magnitude as well as direction of displacement. Right. So first of all let us calculate the magnitude. So even here we can say that angle OAB is 90 degree. Right. So the magnitude will be given by the Pythagoras theorem. That is we can say that OB magnitude of OB would be equal to root over OA square plus AB square. So we can say 10 square plus 7.5 square. So this comes out to be 12.5 kilometers. So this is the magnitude of the displacement. Now we have to find out the direction of displacement. So how do we find the direction? See, this is the displacement. This is the direction of displacement. 
so we have to find out this angle theta if we find this angle theta we can tell in what direction is the body getting displaced so how do we find theta we will use basic trigonometry that is tan theta is equal to p by p that is perpendicular by base so which is the perpendicular here ab and what is base here oa so we can say that ab is equal to 7.5 and oa is equal to 10 that means this is 0 0.75 that means the value of theta is equal to tan inverse 0 0.75 so this value of theta determines the direction of the displacement with respect to the horizontal axis that means with respect to the x axis that means the displacement takes place at an angle theta from the horizontal where theta is given by tan inverse 0 0.75 right so this is how we basically calculate the direction as well as the magnitude of displacement now let us look at few more problems so here comes problem 3 it states that rain is falling vertically with a speed of 35 meter per second. Winds start blowing after some time with a speed of 12 meter per second in east to west direction. So in what direction should a boy waiting at a bus stop hold his umbrella? First of all, let us visualize the situation. Let us suppose rain, this is, let us draw the figure in terms of the coordinate axis so that it becomes easier for you to understand. Now let us suppose that initially rain was falling vertically downwards somewhat like this. But it states that after some time wind starts blowing from in east to west direction that means this is your east this is your west. So wind starts blowing in this direction that means Initially, when there was no wind, rain was falling in this direction. Now, due to the pressure or due to the blowing of the wind, the rain's direction will get deflected in this way. So, now the rain will be falling somewhat in this direction. Okay? So, let us suppose, so let us consider the scenario in that way. Let us suppose, due to the motion of the wind, rain is falling somewhat in this direction. So, a boy who is standing at the bus stop, let us suppose that the boy is standing somewhere here on the bus stop. So he will have to hold the umbrella somewhat like this in order to protect himself from the rain. Let us suppose this is the umbrella. So this is how he will have to hold the umbrella in order to protect himself. Right? So we have to calculate in which direction should a boy waiting at a bus stop hold his umbrella. That means you have to calculate this angle theta. Now, so you understood the basic scenario, right? Now the question says that the rain is falling vertically with a speed of 35 meter per second. That means initially the rain was falling with a speed of 35 meter per second vertically. That means this speed is 35, right? After some time, wind starts blowing with a speed of 12 meter per second. That means the speed of the wind is in this direction because this is east, this is west, this is north and this is south. So the wind starts blowing in this direction. So in this direction, the wind is blowing with 12 meter per second. Right. So basically now if you draw this in terms of vector quantities, what do you find? You can draw this figure in this way. This is 12. This is 35. Right? So you have to find the resultant of these two vectors. So what would be the resultant of these two vectors? The resultant would be somewhat like this. Right? We already studied all these things before. Now since this angle is 90 degree, so we can say that this resultant or the magnitude of this resultant would be given by root over 12 square plus 35 square. Do you remember from where do we get this? We got it from what we studied. A is equal to root over AX square plus AY square. This is the magnitude of A. Magnitude of any vector can be written as root over AX square plus AY square 
if ax and ay are its values along x and y axis. So here also, this is the resultant. The value of resultant along x axis is this and its value along y axis is 35. So we can write that r is equal to root over 12 square plus 35 square. So this comes out to be 37. So that means the magnitude of the resultant is 37 meter per second. That means this is the velocity with which the rain will be falling in this direction. Now we have to calculate the direction. So how do we calculate the direction? Now in this case, we calculate this angle theta. So what would be tan theta? Tan theta is perpendicular by base. So for this theta, this is perpendicular. That means 12. And this is base. That is 35. So tan theta is 12 by 35. That means theta is equal to tan inverse 12 by 35. This is nothing but tan inverse 0 0.343 which is approximately equal to 90 degree. So we can say that theta is approximately equal to 19 degree. Right? So we got the value of theta. Now here make you understand it in an easier way. I draw this separate figure. Now you try to visualize the same figure here. Here if you see this was your 12 meter per second and this was your 35 meter per second. So this line was basically representing the resultant R and this was the theta which we calculated right. So if this is theta this is also theta because they are vertically opposite angles. So that means the boy has to hold the umbrella in this direction. That means the boy will hold the umbrella at an angle theta from the north direction. So the boy is holding the umbrella 19 degree vertical towards east. That means the umbrella he is holding 19 degree with the vertical because this is your vertical. So the umbrella should make an angle of 19 degree. Theta is 19. So the umbrella should be hold at an angle of 19 degree with the vertical towards which direction? Towards east direction. So 19 degree with the vertical towards east. Right? So I hope it is clear. We will quickly review this question once again. Here it says that rain is falling vertically with a speed of 35 meter per second. That means when rain is falling in this direction, from north to south, when there is no wind blowing. Now after some time, wind starts blowing with a speed of 12 meter per second from east to west. That means wind is blowing in this direction with 12 meter per second. So this is, this is the direction of wind and this is the direction of rain initially. Now, because of the effect of the wind, the rain will get distracted from its own direction. I mean, initially it was in this direction. Now it would move somewhere around this direction. So that is represented by this vector r. That is the resultant. So first of all, we calculated the value of this resultant r, which came out to be 37 meter per second. That means the rain is actually falling under the effect of this wind with a velocity of 37 meter per second. And what about the direction? So we calculated tan theta. We found theta is equal to 19 degree. Now since the rain is falling in this direction, so the umbrella has to be moved in this direction upward. Right? So if this angle is theta 19, so this angle will also be 19. So what do we say? That the boy will hold the umbrella at an angle of 19 degree with the vertical. Because this is nothing but the vertical axis. So he will hold the umbrella at an angle of 19 degree with the vertical Towards which direction? This is your east direction. So this would be your answer. So the boy would be holding the umbrella at an angle of 19 degree vertical towards the east. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.